fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to share with you the finish and de-kit of my Diamond Art Club Enchanted Forest. I'll stick a picture over there of the canvas. I'm just going to jump in. I have used bottles that have washi tape on the top of them because I didn't know whether these containers would be or stickers would be easily removable. There was one special drill square quad cube in this canvas and I had just exactly enough. There were no leftovers. Yeah, just be aware if you get that, that there were no leftovers. And then I have three ABs, which I did not look up the numbers for, although this one is white. So I know that I can just stick these in my white ABs. This is a round kit and I'm super excited for how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Bonus, I didn't even realize when I started doing it, I just wanted to get that kit done because I thought it was super cute. I went back and looked and there is no 310 in this kit. So I am able to use it for my Diamond Art Club challenge because one of the ones of those five kits was one with no 310. So I've done my very small one, which was the Fantastic Friends. Uh, the Little Mermaid one that I finished not too long ago. It's not ABs, just regular drills now. So that was for my smallest one. This one will count for my No 310. And then there are three left for me to do. One is my oldest kit, which I'm going to finish that one once I finish my Jewels and Vern, which is the one that I opened very recently. So that's three of the five. And then the other two that are left would be a flower one, which if I have my way will be my flower crazy one that I just ordered because I really wanna do that one. And then the other one is a 2023 release. And I haven't purchased a 2023 kit yet. I mean, I, I purchased a kit in 2023, but I haven't purchased one that was released in 2023. So I will be doing both of those. In the meantime, continuing on with my uh, artist series challenges. So I have had 20 on my list. I have added two because I added my mermaid one because Pixie Sticks was an artist that I had never done before. And I'm actually going to add this one as well because uh, Safina Art was one that I had never done any of hers as well. Uh, I have another kit by her, but I've not done it. So yeah, she's gonna go on my list as well. Gosh, I don't know why these are so staticky all of a sudden. Yeah, those may be fun when I go back to pull them out. Maybe while they're just sitting in here, they'll learn to behave. I can hope anyway. If not, I will get out my trusty static guard. Oh my goodness, all of these. Okay, I think I got them all in there. Ooh, I have wildly different colors in there. Why is that? Hmm. There's like three different shades in there. Uh, I'm going to stick those back in there. Okay, what was I saying? Anyway, oh, I hope they're not all staticky as I'm taking these apart and de-kitting them. My artist series, so I will have two on there even though those two are not from my original list. I do have one, however, that will be um, from my original list and that is the Mika Jelena that I am currently working on. Anyway, so I've got those two done. I will have the Mika Jelena hopefully finished by the end of this month for the, I think she's calling it the Meekathon for fun. I don't know if that means there's going to be another Meekathon in August, which is when they usually are. That was what was on my calendar anyway when I went to go look. So either way, I'm just gonna do it now. If there's another one later, that's fine. I'm at least going to get that finished and get it off of my to-do list. And then I am, these are all pretty much the same color, but I have a ton of them. So I'm not going to save these. These are just going to get dumped in my trash. 
I can start concentrating on some other projects. I have some projects that I that are going to take a while. I've got to do some research and some kind of background work before I can share them with you guys. So yeah, those are coming. Um, what else is going on? Let me see, 422. Ooh, I don't have very many of those. These look staticky as well. I mean, I would have thought, granted this was a kit that was very staticky when I was kitting it up, I would have thought that it would have been a little bit less after sitting in my house and you know me working on it and moving the drills around and all that kind of stuff but maybe not it's also strange how some seem staticky and other ones don't interesting yeah i tried several different methods um, after i did my little shorts video well after i did the video where i kitted this one up and the static was so bad i had lots of people who gave me helpful suggestions for things that they've done and tried. I actually even saw, I think it was on Etsy the other day, someone was selling like a, a, a static kit where basically they had a little container and they had gone in and cut up a bunch of like dryer sheets and put them in the container. And they were calling it like the static kit or something or the static reducer kit. I don't remember where I saw it, but I thought that was funny. I wonder how much you could charge for something like that when people could just go buy their own dryer sheets and do it themselves. I mean, that doesn't seem like a very expensive object or a very time consuming kind of thing to do. It always amazes me the things that people, you know, pull out to market for diamond painting that I never would have thought of because I would have thought, oh, who would pay for someone to do that part of the work you know what I mean like it's so it's so easy to do it yourself so why wouldn't you just do it yourself rather than having someone else do it for you but you know I guess there's people out there who have money to spend on that kind of thing and would rather do that than spend money and not their time which is perfectly acceptable but I just again something that never occurred to me that people would want to purchase. Thought it was interesting. At least these ones don't seem to be quite as staticky as the ones before. Let's hope I didn't jinx myself there. And let me get some of these out so I can start putting them away. So I had 43 colors in this kit. And one of my, because I have these, these stickers put on top of the washi tape, they didn't all stick. I don't need to worry about it. I don't think next time I do a, a diamond art club kit, especially one of the newer ones, I just wasn't sure. Um, some of the older ones, I'll probably still use this method. But anyway, I was 775. I was, um, I don't know what happened, but one of my stickers disappeared. Thank goodness it was only one of them because if I'd had more than one disappear, I would have been, um, now see, those are not the same color either. I should have checked that before I put those in there. Anyway, one of the stickers came off and if I'd lost more than one, I wouldn't have been able, because it was just one, I was able by process of elimination to be like, okay, what number was that? So I know what symbol it is. But if I'd lost more than one, so sometimes you have to be careful with your stickers. 803, put that in there. 807, I've got a couple of different colors in there, but this one matches the most of them. Yeah, you can still see there's a bit of static, but not at all like it was when I kitted it up, thank goodness, because that would be terrible. All right, 813, those match. No, these are slightly darker and they're staticky, so I'm going to just get rid of those. All right, and then 814. 814 is one of my favorite colors. All right, do those match? Yes. I really love this dark red. I think it's really pretty. That one wasn't very staticky, so that's good. All right, I still need to find 
some projects to do with my spare drills because I have way too many. 823, I have a ton of, so I'm not going to save those. Whoops. And I dropped the whole container in my trash. Putting these away, I think some people think it's tedious. I saw somebody the other day that said they used to save all of them, but it just got to be too much of a hassle to save all of their spare drills. So they decided they're just going to start dumping them. I think she was going to use them for like, you know, lamp based projects, that kind of stuff. So they weren't necessarily going straight into the trash. That's part of the reason I save mine because I feel bad thinking that, you know, I do so many diamond paintings. I don't want to put all of my spare drills in the landfill. That's so much plastic. All right, make sure all my washi tape is still sticking down. Okay, let me pull some more out of here. All right, 825. Do I have a bunch of those? And I didn't have, as you can see, some of these, there's not very many drills of each color left, but I do plan to use my spares for projects. 828. Reaching across here, trying to get these out. Are those the same color? No, they are not. So I'm just gonna dump those because I'm trying to keep my drills kind of all the same shade because as I discovered when I was doing my diamond dots project where I was working from a pattern book and then on a blank canvas, it was not fun with a couple of those colors. You know, sometimes if there's a lot of shading or whatever, it won't make a ton of difference if you have different shades necessarily. But depending on the picture, it can make a difference. And the one I happen to be working on, it would have been very noticeable. So yeah, just trying to keep that in mind. Eventually, hopefully, I will get it worked out to where most of what I have is all the same shade. That's my hope anyway. All right, 839, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't have a lot of those. At least these aren't being as staticky as the ones at the beginning. That's nice. 842. Oh, I'm almost through my third row. Are those the same shade? No, they are not. And they're staticky, so. don't mean to shake the camera. All right, let me actually move my trash. I'll set it over here. Okay, 842 can go back in. I'm gonna jump to 915. All right, do those match? Yes. This is a pretty color too, this kind of mulberry color. Lots of pinks and fun colors in this one. And like I said, I didn't actually realize until I was done with it that I went back to look and I was like, oh, there is no 310 in this one, but there wasn't. Hmm, those do not match. So those are gonna go if I can get them out of there. All right, let me peel the stickers off. I can't wait to show you guys this one. I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. It wasn't a huge canvas. Um, and unfortunately, it's one that they don't carry anymore. I'm not sure why. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really cute kit. And like I said, I, I thought it turned out really well. All right, 963 can go back in here. What have I got? I only have a few colors left. Well, what is that, 12? Okay, 3371. I'm pretty sure I have a ton of those, so I don't need to save those. And they're staticky. All right, 3607. Making a big jump here. 3607. 
Do those match? Yes. You can see I don't have hardly any of those left at all. Lots of pinks and purples and blues in this kit, which is one of the reasons I liked it. All right, 3607. Come on, fingers. 3608 and 3609. Those are not the same color. Let me check 3609 and see if it is the same color. I hate to throw them away because I don't they don't match, but it just was a really big hassle last time. Those are not the same shade either. And maybe at some point I'll go through and clear all clear out all the ones that are kind of mismatched and then start putting them back in with just Diamond Art Club and a few others, but we'll see. I really should just do some projects with them and then I would know, get some of them used up and then it wouldn't be such a big deal. Just haven't done it yet. Too many other things that I want to get done first. All right, 37, 46. Does that one match? No, it does not. And it is staticky. This is actually one of the newer kits that I've done from Diamond Art Club. And yeah, I'm really hoping that they're not all going to be staticky like that because that would make me crazy. See this one I've already got a few missed match, but that is not even close. It's way lighter or darker. I mean, it's like a darker. It's not as bright. Three, seven, six, one. 3765. Okay, those match. Adds a little bit of time to the process if I have to stop and make sure they all match rather than just dumping without looking, but my choice, like I said, because I want to make sure that, you know, at some point I get to a place where they all match. Hmm. I feel like that's pretty close. Watch, I'm going to dump them in here and they're not going to be the same shade. Nope, they are. Okay, I can't tell when I dump those in. Those are all the same, so that's good. So maybe those ones were Diamond Art Clubs to begin with. All right, 3807. And then my last row, whoops, that's 3806. That would be why those colors didn't match. 3807. So I feel like these are way more purple, but I don't have very many of these. So I'm actually going to dump these. And then I'm going to put these in here. Not because I think certain shades are better than the others, but I just, I do a lot of Diamond Art Club kits. And so chances are I'm going to end up with more shade matching if I keep the Diamond Art Club drills rather than whatever other ones I may have put in there once upon a time. I used to save all of them. I don't do that anymore because, well, for one, my I wouldn't have room to store any of my spare drills. I would just be overrun with them because I do so many kits. But anyway, okay, so this is the one that the tag fell off of it. So I just made myself a note that it was number 3838. Let's see if this one matches. I feel like it does. Let's see. Let's see if I dump it in here and I have two different shades. Come on, get out of there. It's a piece of trash anyway. All right. Oh, well, yeah, they're slightly different. Probably not enough that anybody but me would notice, especially once you get them on your canvas. All right, 3842 is my last one here. I've got a couple of ABs, but I need to look up the codes for those. So I will show you my trash first, and then I will go look up the codes for the ABs so I can save those, because I definitely am going to be saving the ABs. 
very little trash. It wasn't a huge kit, but I still had almost no trash, which was good. Some of it, stuff I pulled off the canvas so it gets stuck in there and it doesn't want to come out because it's sticky on the bottom. Okay. So as you can see, you know, some just typical trash, little sliver pieces. That one has a little tab on it. That one has some kind of ink defect in the top. So does that blue one. Uh, that one has a tab. So, you know, just your typical defects. But like I said, even for the size of kit, not a huge amount of trash. So that was nice. Okay, so I am going to put all of this away uh, and then I will be back to show you the finish of the kit. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Here is the canvas. There we go. I think most of it's in the picture there now. So as you can see, it is super cute. I think it turned out really well. So you've got these really dark or bright blues for the little unicorn and her baby with all of the AB drills kind of put in their manes and horn the little reflection down here in the water. And then you've got kind of all these fanciful plants and trees at night as the background, some very dark colors in the background. And then you see the unicorn looking up here at the little cute little squirrels in the trees. So you've got some butterflies flying across here. You've got these lights and you can see the lights are where those quad cubes got used. So all thrown in there. I just love the squirrels. I think they were really cute. I like the quad cubes. And then you've got the ABs here. There's some pink ABs as it fades into this pink color. And then you've got some little darker purple ABs down in this section. I think it turned out really cute. It didn't take me very long at all to finish. I think it was 16 hours or something like that. So not a huge amount of time to finish. It is round, so it did go faster, of course. And yeah, I just think it turned out really well. I'm super happy with it. It, you know, again, my drill placement is not perfect, but there you can see the cute little squirrel and there's trees and shading and you've got those quad cubes and then the lights, another little squirrel down here. And then of course you get the super cute unicorn the little the little one here and then you get the mama unicorn and I just love how her her eye looks like you know she's got the long eyelashes and everything as she's leaning down to drink from the stream and yeah just really cute fanciful whimsical I loved it uh, I will not unfortunately be able to stick a link down below because it is a discontinued kit, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it was one that was not released too, too long ago. I want to say it was only like two or three months ago that it was released, but it has been discontinued. So if you wanted it, sorry, but I think it turned out really cute and I'm um, happy to include this in my finishes. So like I said, this is going to count towards my Diamond Art Club, no 310s because even though these look black, they are not. So no 310s in this kit, which means I've completed two of those for the challenge. And I get to count this as number two on my artist series because I've never done one by Safina Art before. I liked it. I had a lot of fun. So I'll definitely be looking to see if um, the artist has any more paintings that come out from Diamond Art Club. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.